So what that does is it's, the particles start to seek out negative particles to bond with. So what it does for us is it gives a much better um, coverage of the area. Uh, whenever the particles are going down, since they're all positive, they act kind of like, like magnets. Whenever you push the same size together, they want to spread out so you're not getting everything kind of clumped together. So you're just getting a much better coverage. The other thing that it will do, and especially on metal, uh, it, gives, it gives a little bit of a wrap effect because instead of it just being in the air and just falling, it's seeking out something to attach to. So if you're spraying the edge of this table, it's going to go around the edge, but you're also going to get a little bit underneath the edge too. So some areas that may not get disinfected enough uh, that we don't think about, especially when you're doing chairs, especially chairs like these, underneath here, so you're going to get a good wrap effect. Mm -hmm. So that's how the actual science part of it works. On the top of the unit, there is an on off switch. This is our electrostatic charge. So we wanna make sure it's always on the on. We're always gonna stay on the on position. Uh, these sprayers are used in other industries for other things. Uh, agriculture is a big one. Um, and areas where you, they don't need the actual charge, they can just turn it off. But the water and you don't have one, to turn it on. We don't have to turn it on. We just want to always leave it on. Okay. And, okay. Just, and I want to make sure that, Andre, are you also using the Performax through this, or are you using the blue tab? Uh, the blue tab and Performax. You can use either one, but we just want to make sure. Okay. We're, sure. We don't want to run anything else. Through these. Okay, just those two go. Absolutely. And I just like performance too, so we don't have to Okay. Okay. Yep. Both of those are very helpful. Um, so as far as the unit, it's just a cordless, a tan tail like Dennis was talking about. You have an area set up to charge your batteries. Um, another thing I always recommend is to take them off of the end ship. We were talking about taking the units apart and letting them air dry. We don't want to. We don't ever want to keep the battery in here and 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 fluid in here and put it into here because what we can do is start getting some. Uh, it starts to get a little damp in there, and then we start getting corrosion on some of it. So that's 90% of the time when some of the battery's not working, the, this is part of, has been corroded. They have kept it in the case, or maybe just in a wetter area uh, where you're actually, you know, not letting everything dry. End of the day, take this off, put it on the charger, remove the tank, um, dump it out, put some water in it, run it just for a few seconds through there, just to pump everything out of it, and leave it disassembled and let it.